course it's unboxing. <coughs> Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so we're doing an early Christmas unboxing. I did get my gift rather early in December, but that's okay because it's still all good. It's really great. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing today from the Apple Store. I have the iPad Air 5. She looks a little dusty because you gotta, you know, wipe it off or whatever. But anyway, I'm really excited because this is my first iPad that I ever got and I really love it because it's purple and it's so cute. And um, to go along with it, where the hell is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, and I have an Apple Pen too. So I'm just gonna be talking through the specs, different things that the iPad Air does. Um, the qualities that I thoroughly enjoy and use. Um, you can see what comes in a box, all of that great stuff. So to jump right in, this is the iPad Air 5, fifth generation. The color is purple. I have um, a screen protector on it, a, like a paper texture um, screen protector on it that I really liked. I, I was following a whole bunch of um, Instagrammers who, you know, already have their iPad and they like to like do different things with it. I came prepared so that way when I got my iPad, I knew exactly what I wanted with. I got my computer over here to just give you guys all the accurate information for the specs, um, the different features, qualities, pricing, and all of that. This is 256 gigabytes which is really great because I did intend on using it for a lot of great things um, in regards to editing videos, um, just manage my life. You know what they say, someone that got their life together got an iPad. So I want to be part of that. Ooh. And yes, so for this, this is the Wi-Fi iPad, not Wi-Fi plus cellular. Um, also, let's get into the nail cam nails match the iPad ah, I love it. and let's see okay so I'm on the Apple website this is where I did get my iPad from my boyfriend got it for me as a Christmas gift I love it so much and we ordered it off of the Apple website um, that's where you can mainly find these at this does have an M1 chip which is really great because it makes it fast um, and it's kind of, they recently released like an iPad Pro, an iPad Pro um, and that iPad, not the newest one, but the older, the older one, that generation has an M1 chip. So this is just as good as an iPad Pro, in my opinion. Yes, okay, now for the size, it's, 9.7 inches long and 7.2 inches wide it does have a magnetic band for your pen to, to connect to it just like that um, which is really great so that way you don't lose your pen too um, I just have the Wi-Fi model the Wi-Fi model um, and the cellular model they're both the same weight which is one pound very light actually um, when I put the case on it it does get a little bit heavier but that's as expected you know especially if you have a case that you really want to like um, protect it and that's sort. also I'm in a truck right now so if you see things passing by me or you're just wondering where the hell am I I'm in a truck I'm with my boyfriend we're trucking he's a truck driver and I'm just here for the fun to be a passenger princess so anyway it has one mm, it has three buttons there's the touch ID button and then the volume keys. Um, those are the only buttons on the iPad. Um, the, the touch ID button and, and also lock button, they work really good. Um, they're very fast sensors. Um, like, hold on, let me type my password in and then let me lock it. So when I touch on it, it does open right away. So. That's really great because I like the fast responsiveness. Um, do I care that it doesn't have Face ID? I'm kind of used to Face ID because my phone does have the Face ID, but that's okay. Um, 
in regards to what comes in the box what comes in the box is the USB C type C to type C plugs um, that comes in the box and then it also comes with like oh here it is it also comes with the actual port which is really good because I know like when they gave the phones out they didn't put the port in so why didn't they do that so it's really great that this actually came from an adapter which is really good because um, these are actually very different you know from type C to type C to the actual like uh, iPhone iPhone 13 Pro Max um, they use the lightning cable still so those are very different so don't lose this cord because then if you lose a cord you're not gonna be able to charge your iPad um, in regards to the display this has liquid retina display um, which is really great it's a 10.9 inch display as well so it's really nice and big I was at first I was funny story I was actually thinking about the iPad mini because I was like I think it would be really cute to be able to throw this like in the purse somewhere but this is also just as good it's small so it still fits like in a bag like this is my hand compared to the iPad and it's not that big but it's not too small and I feel like if you have like a decent size you'll be able to see everything you'll be able to enjoy it you'll be able to type on it took it took it however much you want to which is really great so it actually has a really nice um, display size I like that it does turn um, and moves around um, let's see it, it has a LED backlit backlight English LED back Child. it's been a long long day an LED backlit multi-touch display whatever that means I don't really care about that I just know it looks good um, it, the display is very nice it it looks good it's given the quality of the iPhone 13 14 whatever you want to call it it looks good um, it says it's fingerprint resistant with the coding I'm not too sure because as soon as I got it I did not want to touch on the screen I quickly threw my um, I quickly threw my screen protector on and yeah I let that be it because uh, I feel like when you start touching on it the screen quality just starts diminishing so yeah I didn't want to mess around with that as I was saying earlier this does have an M1 chip which is really great because um, that means the speed is up there the um, it's it's gonna last for a really long time the quality is gonna be great uh, it like I said it has the same type of quality as the iPad Pro so they recently did update their iPad Pros to have an M2 chip and whatever whatnot, but beforehand, the old generation iPad Pros had an M1 chip. So I'm thinking that's the only reason why they have yet to update a new iPad Air generation is because if they do update it, it's going to have to be better than the iPad Pro. And to be better than the iPad Pro, do you really need an iPad Pro then? I don't know that's up to you to figure out but for the most part it does have an 8 gigabyte RAM um, and it says it has four performance cores with four efficiency cores so basically think about it like there's like four different little brains in here that are helping to make it run at its peak performance more brains the better less brains the you know the worse the quality is so it's really fast it's great it's um, very responsive uh, in regards to the Apple Pencil. These two are very compatible. Oh, actually, funny enough, I did try and record one video with the camera of the iPad Air, and it's really good, surprisingly. It's, I feel like it's better than, you know, any iPad, any iPad that you would encounter. Like, when you think of an iPad, obviously, like, you're not gonna use the camera all the time on the iPad, but when you do, it's not gonna disappoint, you know? It's it's a really good camera. It says it has a 12 MP wide camera. Um, on FaceTime, it's really cute. It like literally follows your head, and if someone else comes in, it makes the screen wider. So it's very adaptive to your surroundings, whatever's going on, it's really going to get in there and make it user 
friendly for the long run um, let's see it has a lot of different um, camera features such as digital zoom up to 5x mm, could be a little bit better but it's not the iPad Pro so I mean it's meeting my expectations I'm not really expecting it to zoom in to Jesus you know um, anyway uh, let's see it has autofocus with focus pixels panorama smart HDR 3 wide color capture for photos and live photos uh, photo geotagging basically like if you take a photo it's gonna recognize something and then give you information about where that is and what it is um, for example I took a picture of like my cat and it showed me what type of cat my cat possibly could be which is really interesting um, it has an auto image stabilization yes when I took the video I'm gonna put a little video of the of what I took with the iPad I was literally shaking like this because when you try to record with an iPad it's all big and weird and it's, it was very stabilized so the stabilization on this a1 a a1 no. <laughs> anyway um, it has a burst mode I feel like ever since they updated the iPhone, I never use the burst mode anymore because it's just really weird to use it and it's like, okay, so you're making it like hands-free, but it's like burst mode, but it's like a hidden feature at the same time. I don't know. I don't use no burst mode anymore. Um, I use self-timer. Uh, image format captured. Oh, they have an HEIF and JPEG. I guess if you're really into the techie stuff about it and you want to use your photos or videos for certain things, then that's when you would care about an HEIF or a JPEG. In my opinion, I don't really care right now. I just enjoy my iPad. Yes. Anyway, it records in 4K, which is, that's what it should do. 24 FPS, 25 FPS, 30 FPS, 60 FPS that's good um, it also does do 180 key HD video recording um, it supports slow-mo time lag extended dynamic range cinematic video stabilization all that great stuff front camera uh, have I tried to use the front camera the front camera comes with flash which is nice as a 12 MP ultra wide front camera pretty good pretty good um, I took like one photo and I'm not mad about it I'm not it's an iPad it's not I'm not expecting it to do all the crazy camera stuff that I would want my phone to do you know so it's meeting my expectations <laughs> it does FaceTime it, it does FaceTime video and um, it does like regular messaging especially if you connect it to your phone uh, you might want to be careful with that because I synced everything and it like tried to take all the photos from my phone and put it on the iPad and I was like no no we got you to have a clean slate like they said somebody with an iPad got their life together so why would I want all my photos videos and whatever whatever's in my iPad for organization productivity and all that other great stuff so I quickly removed all of those things because I didn't want the storage to be full of whatever's on my phone. So that's the only thing that you do have to be careful about when you are um, setting up your iPad is to make sure that you like you just pick whatever you want and you just make sure you're paying attention to that. That's what I would say. Um, speakers, stereotype. Matter of fact, I got four speakers. So two right here, boom and two right there boom audio amazing you're in the studio <laughs> okay maybe not the studio but it's good enough it's good enough honestly uh microphone it says do microphones for calls video recording i don't know about all that i don't know about all that i'm not like i said i'm not looking to record videos on my ipad but i did watch a video on the audio and the audio was okay it wasn't bad is like I said, it it's audio for an iPad. Let's move it right along. So now, 
in, in regards to pricing, this iPad for 256 gigabytes was mm, $749. Now taxes does depend on your location. So the final price, I can't say what the final price is. How much we may have paid for it? Let's see. Well, we also got the Apple Pen 2 with it too. So that was $129 extra to like add the Apple Pen 2 onto the order. Um, and no, I did not get their Magic Folio keyboard because um, very expensive. I wanted to try and find like a cheap and expensive route, but something that's still good with quality. So um, I'll get into all of that as well. Um, I do have Apple Care on it because I want I want it to last for a long time with me. Apple Care was two year coverage was seventy nine dollars for Apple Care, which is not bad because if you think about it, the Apple Care for the phones those are two hundred and change for two years unless you're doing a monthly situation and that's a different case but if you're just doing a one-time payment fee for Apple Care um, it's $79 for two years which I think is reasonable um, and then after that expires I think you can also renew your Apple Care um, so the so for just the iPad itself plus Apple Care uh, the total was not bad you know um, I would say that if you're trying to compare the iPad to like a computer that you're looking to spend money on um, don't compare it a computer is a computer an iPad is an iPad the different qualities aspects and just the what, what it's actually going to be able to do those are two very different things you know so I would say stray away from trying to compare them but if you want to I would say if you're gonna if you if you want to do things that a computer can do but you don't want to carry around a computer fine why not try an iPad you can't go wrong for an iPad but if you're looking to like a Windows person I wouldn't say this is your best route to go only because of just the compatibility of the different softwares and whatever whatnot so um, the price is similar to a computer, that's what I'm trying to get at, but in regards to the comparison of a laptop and an iPad, they're kind of very different. So yeah, Apple does take off money for students, so get your student discount, and even if you aren't a student, go find somebody that is a student, ask them to borrow their ID and say, boom, give me my discount. We didn't get a discount because we didn't think about it at the time. But still, if you want to get your discount, go get your discount. Because who pays full price for anything over here? Not me. Anyway, so. Let's get into the pencil. I have this Apple pencil. It's really great. This is the second generation. Um, hold on. I'm taking off the case so you guys can get a look for it. So this is the Apple Pen tool. It's really cute. It has um, a flat side on along the bevel. Um, it says Apple Pen tool or whatever. It's really cute, really great. It's flat to like, you know, connected to the magnetic part. Um, and then after, after that flat side, it's round. So it makes it more comfortable to hold, to grip, right, or whatever. Um, it does not come with a case or a cover. You don't need to plug it in or anything. It literally just comes as is in the box. Um, the box comes with like some instructions on how to pair it up with your device. But the best way that I can say in regards to pairing it up, you just connect it and that's it. Have it printed. It's really simple, it's really great. I love how, um, like I said, very responsive, you know? This dude, it does everything very, very great with touch. Um, I got a cute little cover for the pencil. It's supposed to, I got it from Amazon. Now, the stuff that I'm gonna show you is either from the Apple Store or from Amazon. I did try a couple of options beforehand in regards to the folio case. 
This case is by Logic Tech. It's really great. Oops, upside down. It's really great. It has a hole for the camera. It has a magnetic strap to keep everything all in place. It's really great. Um, look at the keyboard. The keyboard is fantastic. I love it. It glows. It has a little cute LED light. There is an RGB T RG R RG. Basically, there's no colorful colors going on here, and that's okay. Because as long as you glow and I can see you at night, that's all that matters to me. So yes, it doesn't do like red, pink, gray, all of that. No. It has a nice white light background. Also, I was taking a closer look at the touchpad. The touchpad, it's gray, but actually, like at an angle, it's giving glass. So I'm not entirely too sure what the material is of that. But overall, this does have a nice fabric-y material, which I really love, which is really nice, you know. Um, it has a cute kickstand that you can use. It goes out however far you need it to. It's really nice. It's also magnetic. I got this from the Apple Store. This is a Logitech case. I believe the price for this was... It was cheaper than the actual folio case. We're gonna edit it and put the price here because I don't I don't remember off the mind. But yes, very nice, actually worth the money. I found some other case that was on Amazon. I hated it. It felt like a toy. The color wasn't given. It said rose gold. It looked rose gold, but at the same time, I wanted pink. So I didn't like it. It didn't feel good. Um, the responsiveness in regards to the touchpad was horrible not cute at all um, I sent it back unfortunately um, and then in regards to the silicone case I love it it's so great it's really cute I have purple pink and yellow same design with the cute little leaf at the top it gets character and it had a case I mean not a case it had like a little um, pin cover and even with the pin cover on you could still use it on the iPad which I like somehow I lost it I don't know what I did with it. I don't know what happened to it, but yeah, I lost her and that's okay. Cause I still use my pencil with or without her. And the case goes on very easily, very smooth, no residue, no strange little smell. Um, I found out actually recently that the Apple Pencil tip cover, you can like unscrew it off and replace it when it gets ran down. I like that, that's fine. I don't know how much that costs yet because I have yet to run that, run it down, but when I do, best believe I'm gonna tell y'all about it. Now, that's the Apple Pencil. Link down in the description for this item, um, and I'll also put the price as well. Silicone case, I'll put the price down below actual iPad I'll put the link down below directly to it um, anything else oh I wanted to show you guys how I customize my iPad but it's given it might need to be another video thanks for watching um, I'm gonna make a new video for next week <laughs> next week I'm trying to work on my consistency I'm gonna make a new video, better quality, all of that, cause Christmas is soon and I already know what I got. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys all about customizing your iPad. But for the most part, this is how you customize the outer exterior parts of your iPad, such as screensaver, not screensaver, screen protector, silicone case, and then an actual case for your iPad. And actually, I have two cases. I'll put the link down below for both of those. Because I have like a keyboard case. And then I have just like a regular case to just to keep it protected and cute when I don't want to use my keyboard. But when do I not want to use my keyboard? So that's it for today. Um, thanks so much for joining me. And we're going to head on out and see you next video. Bye.